Hi there, my name's Amy Hetherington and I'm a comedian from Darwin in the Northern Territory. Uh, accidentally, some people have uh, aspirations to be a comedian. Uh, mine was more of a, uh, an accident. Somebody was doing a thing where I'd raise money to do things sober to raise money for a local charity and somebody said, oh, well, if you do stand-up comedy sober, I'll give you $500 towards that charity and had a crack and I liked it. So uh, that's how I got into comedy, uh, mistakenly. Uh, I run my own business up in Darwin, so I do events and marketing and a bit of social media stuff, uh, as well as I used to manage a couple of bands back in the day, but now I uh, just do a bit of comedy, do a bit of emceeing and a few other things like that, so. Uh, I think the best part is live events where you get to have a one-off opportunity to entertain human beings for a certain amount of time, help them forget about some of the stressful things in their lives and that these one-off moments happen in a live comedy show that you can't see anywhere else. Like there's lots of YouTube and video comics out there, but I think there's something pretty magical about live comedy, one time only, one you and an audience, it's pretty special. Uh, first gig was in Darwin at a place called The Happy Yes, which is our little comedy club there. And then my second gig was the Darwin Entertainment Centre because up there for raw comedy, you just go straight through to the final in front of 500 people, which is a great way to uh, <laughs> bomb. <laughs> Oh, I've been pretty lucky that people like uh, if my if my jokes don't work they at least like my face so that's helped. Um, but I uh, I've done a couple of corporate gigs that haven't gone great. Uh, the classic ones when you get up there to do some comedy and they start serving the food midway through your show isn't always the best. And I have done a bunch of gigs in servos around the Northern Territory too, which have never gone well. Uh, but you know if you can do a gig in a servo, why not? Uh, my favourite comedians tend to be the ones that have a bit of a positive spin on things. Um, Adam Hills has always been somebody that I've really admired and liked. Uh, but then I think my favourite comics are the ones who are kind and nice to me that I've met around at rooms around the place. So I tour with um, Kel Balnaves, uh, some of the guys from Adelaide have been really cool. But, you know, I've, I like comedy for what it is in that moment. So uh, anybody, anybody who's making people laugh is doing a good thing. I think this year has been really good for, for comedy for me, which is fortunate given all the border closures and stuff. But I did a big comedy gala in Darwin with a bunch of TV acts, which was cool. And then I also got to go do some gigs uh, with Merrick Watts down in Adelaide at the wineries and fly on a private jet to a gig, which was uh, the closest I felt to being important. Comedy has changed a lot since I've been doing it. I mean, I've only been doing it for seven years, but I think um, it's important for jokes to change and adapt as things in the world change and adapt. So those things have, have uh, I, I, I guess, grown um, more. I've kind of seen that kind of side of it. I guess my comedy in particular has grown over that time because I've kind of understood a little bit more about what a punchline is that helps, turns out. Uh, but it's... I think, yeah, comedy's always changing and I think that's important. I think it's, it's great that we hear different voices on the stages that we, uh, that we frequent. Uh, I think my biggest bit of advice for people starting out on comedy is to find your voice. Spend some time thinking about what you like about things, how you feel about things, what you've got to say, because um, it'll help you say something different instead of copying somebody else or going along with the trend. So don't be afraid to say something that's a little bit different if it's true to you. So work out, work on yourself and that might help a little bit with the comedy too. What's next for me in comedy? I'm having a baby, sick. Um, that's gonna change a lot of my comedy. A lot of my material is gonna be based on babies. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's my next big adventure um, and a lot more regional touring. I think there's a whole untapped market in regional Australia that is dying for entertainment and I'm really keen to kind of adventure into those kind of places and take shows to towns that might not have had much of that before. Thanks very much for watching me talk uh, about things in comedy. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, uh, the things that I'm doing, I'm on Instagram under Amy Hetherington. Uh, I got in early and got that handle, so that's pretty good on me. Don't follow the wrong Amy Hetherington. She's a bikini model. Um, it's very hard on my self-esteem when I get tagged in photos as her. Um, uh, and on Facebook, it's Amy Hetherington Comedy. Uh, and if you're ever in the Northern Territory or around Darwin, shoot me a message. I'll tell you where the good coffee is.